Right, I'm in the second lay-by up on uh, Floyd on Res. First lay-by got the burger one in, and this is the second one. And I come to the site of the uh, where the Abacar stone was found. It's a Roman uh, inscribed stone, and it was found. you had been used as a lintel, but I said other burials have been found. Yeah, and there was mounds. Yeah, but uh, this last bench we go into the forest here, where you see the sign we'll see it flying on. This was the site of Abacar Farm and they also reckon burial urns were found in the front garden of it which I'm guessing would have been over there somewhere so we are on top of a Roman burial ground uh, so I'm just having a little look around here I'll take you in there in a bit with the bridges not much to see here, it's all overgrown and I'll try and come up at a later date and have a good look here we are actually on top of Mount Vier at the moment, so we just have a little look in by there. There's not much to see here, but uh, we'll have a little walk around in by there just to see if there's anything. But it, it's all overgrown, if there's anything here, it's going to be underneath. But we are on, on top of a man made Mount Vier, so which the farm would have been on, Vier, the Abacar farm. So we're going to Take it back onto the track way in by there and head towards that river bridge. Right, I just pulled into the lay by, and this is the site of the Abacar farm. I know there's not much to see here. Uh, this is where Roman uh, stones have been found. You're supporting a, a cow shed where you've been used as a lintel. But apparently, like, this would be the front garden of Abacar farm here now. Not much to see, it's all forestry and uh, but apparently it was a big mound here yeah? uh, with all stones. So apparently when they would have a little look around yeah, there was a big mound full of stones, they found a Bronze Age burial. So I'm just looking behind now, some massive stones, like this one. There's another massive stone here. Yeah? And it is a bit of a mound going on here, yeah? so wherever they... This was it, I'm not sure. There's a path being going all the way through to the res now. But it would have been in all this area around here. See, there's a big mound but there, it's going all the way around. But it's, like you said, we're only going off records. It was roughly BR Abacar Farm, as I'll show you now. Right, go on. Look in by there, you got a lot of old stones going on, and we got an old stone bridge here, uh, and a stream or river as you can see going into the flying on res. Right, like I read in the right depths, it was a stream at the side of Abacar Farm, 
which I'm taking, this is the stream. As you can see, they built the bridge over it now, and uh, all water coming out from the mountain down into the flying on res. Loads of stones here, massive stones. But, uh, like I said, there's not much to see here, but this is the site where Roman graves have been found. And they reckon in front of the farmhouse, which would be back in the car park by there, uh, Roman burial urns have been found, which are now in Swansea Museum. But, uh, yeah, we'll have a look around here, or just see if there's any other features that uh, may be of interest. And I'll get back to you in a bit. How old this bridge is, I'm not sure. Could be 1800s. Looks pretty new. We'll go down and have a little look. Yeah, there's the other side of the bridge. Like I said, I don't know how old it is. But going by the area, and uh, you know, I mean, Romans love these streams, or you know, little rivers, I guess. And and the amount of Roman burials we found up here, it makes you think it's a Roman settlement here or somewhere. If you look at the side of that bridge by there, uh, it looks an even older feature. So maybe it was not, I mean, that's an older bridge. But uh, we'll have a look in a bit now. Yeah, if you look by there, you can see the curve of the bridge, an older bridge, or oh, a bank of a wall stop in there. Could be, it could be an old bridge. Right, I walked across the path a little bit, and we got an old, uh, well, it looks like a uh, building, yeah? Looks pretty old as well. Could be an old wall, but it does seem to be going this way, up and then around, like. So, quite interesting. We'll have a little look around you now. Yeah, it looks like a big circle. My daughter is over there. Massive stones. And it goes, well, it seems to be going all the way down there. So wherever there's an old wall boundary, I don't know. But, uh, head back towards the river up the street for a sec. Right, I'm on the other side of the, the bridge. Just to see, uh, there's a little hole in it by there as well, in the bridge. Quite interesting. You can see it over there. But uh, we're going to head down now, see if there's any strange stones we can pick up. Right, get back. Right, we're heading downstream because trying to find a low part, because if there's anything like pottery or finds, it would have uh, stopped at the low part and got stuck. So we're going to head down see if we can find anything. There's an example, you see this big piece of iron rod in there. So we keep on heading down. Right, you come through the bushes and you get to see us then. Amazing views, loads of rocks. Uh, don't know if it's doing anything, the old roads, walls. Could be anything. There's the old bridge over there, straight out. You can see that. We might go over a rock now, we'll have a look. But we're just looking for pottery and stuff. See if there's any, anything from the past here. Right, here's an example. My daughter just hung this. Uh, looks probably medieval, probably a floor tile or something. The Roman colour orange on it, or medieval. And I was just on the top here, so it's stuff around here. I see you've got stones everywhere, but it could be a little settlement or anything. He's dragged out the uh, riverbeds, I mean, all these stones. But, uh, worth a look, yeah, for anyone. Maybe five minutes from here for flying on reservoir. <laughs> 